Hey guys, welcome back. So in this one, we're gonna go ahead and start modularizing our project by using blueprints. So with blueprints, we can be able to create different modules that then we can register with our main Flask app so we can keep our application modular. One thing you have to keep in mind is blueprints are meant to group related functionality together. So you don't have to have like a blueprint for users and then the users you're doing like a product list so you always want to make sure that each blueprint is, is containing code that is related to each other. So instead of us having these routes here, these were for testing, I'm gonna get rid of them. So to, to get started creating our first blueprint, we are going to have a user's blueprint and also the bookmarks blueprint. So in the source, I'm going to create a an auth.py file and also the bookmarks.py file. Now to define a blueprint, we are going to need blueprint. So from Flask, import blueprint, okay? So to create our own, we are going to call our own auth and then we want to call blueprint. And then when you call this, notice that we can pass in some config and the one that is very obvious is the name. So we can do name. So we can do, actually we can do name equals auth or we can just pass it in since it's positional. So let's pass, let's call this one auth. And then we need to tell it where it is being run from. So we can do that by passing down the name. And then we can pass other configuration. For example, notice that on our API, for us to hit the endpoints that are going to be in auth, we are going to be doing like our, our app slash API slash v1 slash auth. So we can specify a URL prefix. So here we can have something like slash API slash v1 slash auth and now once we define a blueprint then we can have routes on it so if you wanted to handle like a register or a sign up request we would have at auth then we can handle dot post and then for this then we can we can detect when a user is going to register and then we can handle that like this so let's have function register and then over here we can return something like user created and then of course you're going to be coming back here to make sure we can put there some meaningful logic let's also have a function that gets the current logged in user for it it's going to be a get so you can have at off get get so you can have like slash me then we can have a function to handle that so you can have like me and you can return user you can turn there like user me Okay, so we are going to now create the same thing. This should be register. We are going to now create a blueprint for our bookmarks. So we can go to our bookmarks.py and have the same thing. So we are going to change auth to bookmarks almost everywhere. So we can change this one to bookmarks. So what we are doing, we are getting the blueprint just so we can create a blueprint. And then we are creating a bookmarks blueprint. And then we are prefixing all the URLs to, to just start with API v1 bookmarks and then over here we can just do slash register and that is going to be appended here so we don't have to repeat this part more than once so here let's just have a get let's just bookmarks get slash and then this should return and then let's call this one index or we can call this one get or let's just return an empty list so and then we're going to be adding to this later so after you find your blueprints, then you want to register them on your app instance. So here, before we here before we return our app, let's go ahead and implement and import our blueprints. So from the, so from source dot auth, we're going to use an we are going to use an absolute import. So we're gonna do import auth. Let's also import bookmarks. So from source bookmarks import bookmarks so over here before we return the app we can just do app with register blueprint and then we want to register the auth one and then we're going to have to register the bookmarks one okay so once we're done with this now we can go back to our application so i'm gonna go to the application over here and now if we go to slash api slash v1 slash me oh slash slash auth slash me notice that we get our, our code from the blueprint being executed and now if we go to slash 
if we go to slash bookmarks, the index route, you can see that we get an error. So let's check why we have this error here. So in bookmarks, we are just returning a list, so we can't return it like this. So what you can do is return, is we return a dictionary with a key and a value. So we can have like bookmarks in here, and then we set that one to empty. So if we come back and refresh this, we can set now we get the response being sent. So that's how we modularize our app. Now there's more config we can set here. So be sure to look up how to to maybe do something with book with blueprints if you have a special use case. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, consider giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next video.